running a uh, finger meter here and I'm going to put two different seeds in and we're going to show you the results of two different sizes, seed sizes and shapes. We're doing a test of a thousand seeds. Okay, we've done a thousand seeds, 32,000 population. We got five skips and two multiples, which gives us a loss. It's under four dollars, we get a good loss. So we're gonna let this run out, and then we'll put the other number in, and then we'll see how it does. Okay, guys, we're gonna do the second number. I want to show you real quick. There's the difference in the seeds. These are a little flatter. These are a little rounder. Just, there is some difference in them. So. So guys, it does make a difference. We're up to 21 skips, and we're up to an $8 loss, and that is not changing anything. That is just the difference in seed. And as you can tell, they're both about got about the same amount of graphite on them, so that wouldn't be a difference. So the seed shape makes a world of difference, especially in these finger meters. So it's imperative that we go and get these things calibrated and make sure your seed will run in, because I have had instances where there's been a seed that a farmer's brought in, and it will not run in the meter no matter what you do on an adjustment. So thought of some decent information you guys might need to know for this coming spring to definitely get your meters calibrated and make sure you've got your seed that the guy can calibrate whoever you're using to calibrate.